Hello guys, привет всем, здравствуйте, добро пожаловать, I hope you're having a good time, because now we're going to be watching a movie which has a very interesting title, it's called The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas. I looked at the poster and I saw two kids, and one of the kids is sitting in a prison outfit, and there is like a barbed wires separating the kid in a prison outfit and the other kid. And the question is, what did the kid do so wrong that he ended up in prison? I have no idea, but I immediately got this feeling that the movie is not going to be an easy one to watch because it always it always hits you differently when there are kids involved, right? Because we are so innocent and so pure that nothing should be happening to them. So uh, just in case, I brought the tissues, but I think by now I should start bringing tissues to any movie. I hope that the movie is not going to be as hard one to watch and we're going to have some good time. So let's get it. Childhood is measured out by sounds and smells and sights before the darker horror of freezing grows. So if it's World War II and there is a little boy sitting in a prison outfit, does it mean that this boy is Jewish? That's the only logical explanation I, I, I can understand now. I can come up with. This is not going to be an easy movie if it's about that. Start. It also reminds me of Jojo Rabbit. Just recently watched this movie and it has an amazing plot, but heartbreaking. But seeing the war from a kid's eyes, from a kid's perspective. I'm celebrating. Your father's been given a promotion. He's still going to be a soldier though, isn't he? Yes. Moving. Where to? To the countryside. Life is not so much about choice, it's more about duty. That's a lot of people. You're getting bigger every time I see. Moving out of Berlin. Well, Mummy and Daddy say it's a good thing. Okay, well, we're not so sure about it. And they applaud him? Well, he probably is a very high-ranking officer. Doesn't he look wonderful? Absolutely. I sometimes wonder if this is all down to me. Does it still make you feel special, the uniform? It's a party. Let's not spoil things. Okay, so I see there is a difference in opinions. Airing your views so publicly could land you in trouble. How long are we losing you for, my boy? Until the war is won. But it feels like his wife adores him. Like, look how she looked at him. I'm already shaking inside because it's going to be a war movie about kids and the concentration camps, right? And I just, just watched this episode of Band of Brother where we've been showing the concentration camp and it's just... It was so hard. It was the most heartbreaking thing I've ever seen. Time to say goodbye. Oh, mommy. Oh. Time has come for me to sleep. Lord, I thank thee for thy keep. Oh, it's very, um, isolated. Like, they used the car, and then the train, and then the car again. Look, look. Well, it is big, it is huge, but... It's very grey and it's very depressing. I'll see you shortly. You'll feel yourself like at home? You two choose your rooms. I'll have Maria come and... <laughs> oh, 
Like he's bored. It won't feel like home until we make it feel like home, will it? <laughs> I think she's great with kids. Are those the windows? It's like he's looking from the... Like, what's prison? I didn't see a farm. You can only see it from that room. They look a bit strange. <laughs> the children do. Vegetables. There. So I think you should go back upstairs and finish off. You know. Oh, they all wear pajamas. Oh, 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 oh. So the, the farmers that he sees from his window is a concentration camp. And she asked, where are the kids? And she said, and he said, yeah, a bunch of them. Thank you for that. That was extremely useful. So it means that his, his dad got a promotion as like the... So he is going to be working for this concentration camp then. Oh dear. And we live so close by to it. Why do the farmers wear pajamas? They're not really people at all. You're not even here, though. It is a farm, isn't it? Yes. But you're not a farmer. You're a soldier. I can still play with them, though. The children. We'll find you some new friends, but they won't be the ones from the farm. There was one of them in our kitchen. But it's so close, like... Oh... How's the kid gonna grow up, okay? Oh, wait, wait, okay, they found the solution. Holy shit, look at that. They just closed the window. Yeah, that's the solution, right? <laughs> I feel like I already want to cry. How are you today? Fed up. Aww. You should be out playing. Playing with who? You can make your own fun. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Kid is a little explorer. Bruno, what are you doing? Explore the front. Besides, explore it all. And he's drawing them. I wanted to look in the back garden, but Mum wouldn't let me. I expect you'll be missing those friends of yours. I even miss school. I've arranged a tutor for you both. Oh, I, I think for a second he thought that they're coming back. And you know, on the drawing that he made, he drew them smiling. I don't think any of them were smiling. I think the girl likes him. I think the girl likes the soldier. Good morning, little man. Are there any spare tires around? Here, now, move! Oh my gosh, don't lose. Oh my, you can Are you serious? He barely walks. Well, it does... That does look exciting. No. Ah. He's so sweet. When is she back? Soon, I expect. Well, I need to go to hospital. It's only a small cut. He's so good with him. What's your name? Pavel. You'll probably take me to a doctor. I don't think so. You're not a doctor. Yes, I am. I practiced as a doctor. He was a doctor. He was a doctor, oh my gosh. You couldn't have been much good then if you had to practice. The kids are so innocent. What are you going to be when you grow up? An explorer? How do you know that? Look how she looked at him. Pavel here carried me in and put a bandage on it. She didn't Go to your room. But Pavel says I... Don't argue. She didn't even say thank you. You know, thank you for helping my kid out. Thank you. I know that as ridiculous as it is, but it was a big step for her to do that. But he was a doctor. But now he's seen in there peeling potatoes. I think school's here. Are you interested in, in current affairs? Yes, very. I read newspapers whenever I can. And... Have you been reading anything? French books, mainly. How old now? Eight? Time to get your head out of those fiction books. Yeah, uh, p eight is a perfect age for that, yes.
Yeah, time to learn about the facts, eh? Well, he's definitely going to be an explorer. The kid is brave though, right? I don't think I would run out in the forest when I was a kid. Oh, bar players. Oh, what is a kid? What little innocent kid? I'm exploring. We're building a new hut. I'm Bruno. Schmoll. Never heard of anyone called that before. No one's called Schmoll. I live in the house. Have you got any food on you? Kid is hungry. How old are you? Eight. Me too. But it's so different. It's all way our lives are so, so different. You're over there, playing with friends all day. Playing? And he's saying, Bruno is saying to him, that's so unfair. I have to be stuck in this house while you're playing with your friends all day. I can't find my football. Can I have a piece of chocolate? <laughs> At least. Have you looked in the cellar for your football? There is such a huge contrast, right? Especially the same, kids are the same age, but it's just so unimaginably dif different. My people's oh. density is my density. Destiny. Density. <laughs> that would be me reading books in English. I must work and create for the resurrection of my fatherland. Oh, Bruno, there you are. You be careful on that thing. Thank you. He wants to sneak out again, right? That's why he is sitting there waiting for them to leave. Why do you people wear pajamas all day? They took all of the clothes away. He doesn't even understand, right? Because he's a kid. So is your dad a farmer? No, he's a watchmaker. Most of the time now, he does men's boots. It's like Pavel. He used to be a doctor. Gave it all up to peel potatoes. Gave it all up. It's heartbreaking. What do you burn on those chimneys? What I do don't you, know. What do you burn in those chimneys? Perhaps you can come and have supper with us sometime. I can't, can I? Why? What have you done? I'm a Jew. This is so, so, so wrong, so bad. What have you done? I'm a Jew. Did you smell that horrible smell the other day? Coming from the chimneys? Did you smell it, Mum? Father. She's not going to come because she, she, no, she's not going to come, right? She doesn't. Is Grandma not coming? No. Did you smell it, Dad? I think they just burn rubbish there sometimes. Rubbish, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If, you know, if they so proud at bad. what they do, why Grizzled. don't you tell their kids about that, right? If they think that we're doing, what, whatever Ralph, we're doing is correct, why don't you tell your kids what you're doing? Well, do we know what he's teaching them? They mustn't get left behind. He mocked our literature and our music. Can there is such thing as a nice Jew, though. If you ever found a nice Jew, you would be the best explorer. How can, like, and the fact that he believes in it. He believes it at what he says, right? He does think that way. Thousands of Germans have been made poor by the Jew. You've just had your lunch, haven't you? I was going for a walk. Bring it here. I'll wrap it properly for you. Bruno, what is it? Hairless gave us some books. Let me see. Well, the boy's been shady. Books. I told a lie. I told a lie. At least he got some food. And every little crumb. If someone sees... It's dangerous. Push. Dangerous. Do you not like playing? He never even plays. Yeah, I did. Tell me how the number game works. I told you it's not a game. 
the kid is even afraid to play. But of course, it's just... My boy and her phone. Oh, just can't me back. He's good. The boy is good at lying. Don't forget to check out my Patreon for these exclusives. And now back to movie. They smell even worse when they burn, don't they? What? She didn't know. Did she? She didn't know. I think that, that's the look at her face right now. She didn't know. I was sworn to secrecy. From your own wife. An oath upon my life. Do you understand? You want this country to be strong. No, Ralph, no! Was it going to be bad? Soldiers fight wars. That isn't war! It's a part of it! It's not! It's not! Elsa. Get away from me! Get away from me! Grandpa's here. Grandpa's here. That's why grandma didn't want to come. Who told you about this? Oh. But, well, you know, it's not the fault that he told her. It's the fault that we're actually doing that. How's grandma? A bit out of the weather, I'm afraid. She's been talking about this visit for weeks. Maybe that's what's made her sick. So? <laughs> Awkward. All we do is boring old history. If it wasn't for history, we wouldn't all be sitting around this table. History was my favorite subject, which obviously didn't please my father. We're not in touch, my father and I left the country some time ago. Oh. Oh, well, I see. Four years ago? What is he, still in his 40s, late 40s? He des deserted? How, how, does, how does it call it? Not sure of the correct term, but he, he ran. Your father, the professor, of literature, where did he go? I believe it was Switzerland, eh, Commandant? More wine. Come on! Perhaps he was ill. Unless, of course, he had disagreements. Why is he keep pushing on the sun? You will have informed your superiors, as is your duty. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Butler. <gasps> you fight it! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! No, 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 no! <laughs> What did you expect him to do? Did you deserve it? You even get it. 12 years old girl saying that. At the farm. Holy sh- Oh, Bruno, you don't still think it's a farm. It's a camp. They're in there because they're evil. They're the enemy. She's so, so, so brainwashed. He's in charge of a horrible place. It's only horrible for them. She looks so sick. She can't run. She can't change anything. She can't just take kids and leave. Where is she gonna go? What is she gonna do? She can't. And he stopped going to... Stopped going to the camp. It's a bit different. They're the enemy, Bruno. Oh, wow! They wanted some, like... Tiny fingers. We're not supposed to be friends, you and me. Do you want some? He was there and he saw all this food, but he didn't even... What's your dad like? Oh, no. You're proud of him. Is it really horrible in the camp? Are you eating? Answer me! No, sir. Do you know this too? No. Are you serious? Are you serious? He's eight year old kid, right? He got scared. He got scared. He finished cleaning the glasses. We'll have a little chat. And the fact is, you know, he didn't he didn't touch the food on himself. But it also Bruno is eight years old. The adult screamed at him with all his lungs, of course he would get scared. But now what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen to Shmo? What's gonna happen to him? A little chat? Because that's how it looks like in there. Are you serious? The centrally located cafe is the ideal place. Oh, so that's how we sell it. That's how we sell it. Reading in the library, pottery, cookery. Yeah, of course, of course. 
Of course we're doing pottery in there, right? Well, it's a great sell, right? If only, though. She can't even look at him. And it also, it's so different from the first party that they had, where she looked at him, she was adoring him, you know, look how proud she was, and now she can't even look at him. He wouldn't hit him though, right? He wouldn't, because he, he wants to be alive, so... Oh, he's alive! Okay, he's alive! He's alive! He's alive! Okay. He beat him up. I don't understand. For a cookie. Been coming here for days. I thought you weren't friends anymore. Shmoo, I'm really sorry for what I did. The kid has the biggest heart. Where is kid? Where can be? Mom is not doing well. She can Where's take Kurt it these days. He's been moved to the front. Bad luck that it was his father who was disloyal and not his mother. Oh well, right? That's what... Okay, I see, I see what happened. His father, they've been bombed. Grandmother's dead. That's what his wife told him? That failed to report his father, not his mother? Because this is what Rolf is doing, right? He's not saying anything about his mother. She wouldn't have wanted it. She wouldn't. She can change a thing. She cannot do it in front of everyone, right? But at the same time, a woman is dead. That one there to that. This one. There. Here. <laughs> no. Here. Huh. Feels like this is the first time in ages this kid smiled. Mama is losing it. Oh, this is a bottle of wine. How do you miss home? I miss my friends. You must miss those friends of yours. No. He wants to stay, but. Is that actually thinking of just letting them go there? If the opportunity arose, you prefer to live somewhere else. Somewhere safe. Aunt Lottie's. You as well. That won't be possible just yet, I'm afraid. So kill them all. You need to spend some time elsewhere. Would you like that? Probably not a good idea to raise your kids in a hundred meters of a concentration camp. In life, we often have to do things we don't want to do. It's time for you to move away. I am actually surprised that he's just letting them go like that. This is a goodbye. Is everything all right? We can't find Papa. Are you serious? That's it. His grandpa and grandma died. His papa died too. He's, that's it. He's um, so completely alone. I'm going away. It's forever, I think. When do you go? Tomorrow, after lunch. I won't ever see you again. You can come on holiday to Berlin if you like. Yeah, well, of course. Okay, bye, I'm going to Berlin. I wish I could have helped you find your dad. It'd been great, like a secret mission. I could dig under. He wants to come inside. I could come through to your side. What's the point in that? I don't look like you. You could look like me, though. I'm not shaving my hair off. Cover it. To do it, though. I want to do it. I'll bring an extra big sandwich. And don't forget the pajamas. No pajamas. But it's literally a way for little kiddo to run from there, right? But where, where he can run? No, there. Is he, is he actually going to get into a concentration camp and wear the, with gloves and a cap? But he also thinks that the concentration camp from inside is something that his father 
showed to all other officers on the big screen, right? Like leisure activities and pottery and cooking. Oh my gosh. And a cafe with uh, all sorts of different treats. Mom is finally looking better now that she's leaving. It was an easy to get away. I'm not meant to be out here today. He doesn't, he doesn't know, he, but he, like Bruno cannot even imagine what's happening over there. How do I look? There is literally a way out, right? There is a way out. <laughs> Trying to find your dad. Let's go and find your dad. I'm not gonna find you. I'm not gonna find you. I'm afraid that this is gonna end so badly. Can I go to the cafe or something? Cafe? Maybe I should go home. What about Papa? Oh, I see. He's getting he's getting scared now, because this actually doesn't look like he thought it would be. But he he promised, right? He promised. It's like what they showed in a in the with advertisement for the concentration camp, right? How the it was just jumping on those. Ah! Oh! 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 Oh, oh, that's how he lost his sandwich. By the end of the summer... Bro, Bruno's missing. Come on, kid, get to work! It's gonna be too late. It's gonna be too late. And you know what? Even if he is going to be able to save his kid, he's not gonna be able to save all others because he doesn't want to. Holy sh Oh my gosh! <laughs> See? This is He'll see the smoke, right? He's looking at the smoke right now. Well, very hard movie, of course. The whole... Um, it, it, like, it cannot be easy if you're watching about... World War Two concentration camps. I like the idea though how it's a similar with Jojo Rabbit I already mentioned during the movie that that you are looking at war and at whatever is happening from a kid's perspective, right? From someone who doesn't understand what's going on, from someone who is just a kid and seeing all the innocence in their eyes, it's just it's heartbreaking. It's so so heartbreaking. And whatever happened to, you know, to that little kid, but it also what was happening to all of them. Oh, it's a great movie though. I think it's very important to watch movies like that. I always say that I'm gonna continue saying I'm gonna continue watching movies like that because it's a small, tiny illustration of all the huge horror what's ha what was happening back then. I'm not gonna talk a lot now because I feel like I can't. 
but if you want to see my full length reaction video follow my patreon the link is in the video and it's also in the description also i want to say thank you to my patrons and i want to have a special shout out to the following patrons today Ben Chalong, Hyun Chuck, Steven Hayes, Jimmy H, Jan Lolo Berte, Tom Castro, and Martin Bench. Thank you guys very, very much, and I'll see you soon.